Hi, good morning everybody. How everybody's doing? First of all, I wanted to apologize for yesterday. Uh, somehow, sometime my traveling schedule and what I wish to do and I don't know when when if I'm able to do get mixed up. So yesterday I was uh, got up 4:30 in the morning and and uh, I mean 3:45 in the morning from Costa Rica and travel whole day. So I was not able to do the Facebook live. So uh, I apologize for that. So I said okay, I'll do it today. So I'm happy to be here. So. Today's topic is the power of awareness in time of transition, in times of transition. So power of awareness in times of transition, it's a, I think, I guess, like in a, in a way that every practice is like that. It's uh, practice is always good, awareness is always good, but awareness is ab absolutely needed in some moments of transitions in our life. And uh, because some of these transitions are like, uh, if you are driving in the evening in the dark and uh, you hit the junction in jungle, in the forest or in highway, and you look at the direction, the roads are going a few different places and you cannot really see well, so then you have to turn the torch on, you turn the light on and you see the sign, and you can read the sign, and sign says whatever, and then you can see the direction you, which you wanted to go, and direction that you are really afraid of getting a mistake with, you can see both of that clear here. So you, in that moment, the light or the torch helps you to go to the direction that you wanted to go, avoid the direction that you are afraid of going, so that you don't get lost. Uh, this is exactly true in every situation in our life. And particularly, you know, like most of the, most of the teachings are in a way designed like that. I'll give you an example of it. The practices of the day and the night, for example, the day and the night. Transition from the day to the night. These practices are called dream yoga practice, sleep yoga practice, nipa lamchir, miva lamchir, and what, what is Mivalamchir? What is the dream yoga? What is the Nipalamchir? What is the sleep yoga practice? Is the practice is basically practice of awareness which helps you transition from awaken to sleep, to uh, conscious, awaken conscious to sleep conscious. So basically it's a transition of awareness uh, even the goddesses, like a sleep yoga goddess, like a, we call Sajid Dudalma, she's white, and her, she, what she represents, she represents that awareness, basically. And we also light sometimes candle light before you go to sleep. What that light represents, it represents the awareness. Why awareness is important? Awareness is important to, to make that transition. Because some point, we lose the awareness that we are familiar with, aware, awareness we are familiar with, we lose them and we enter into the territory that we are not familiar with. We are not, we, we are not aware of that boundless space. We are not aware of that dark darkness of the sleep state. We are not aware of objectless experiences of the consciousness. We are always conditioned by object of senses. We are conditioned by senses, sense experiences. We are conditioned by, particularly in the Western world, we are always so strong conditioned by stimulation all the time. We need to be stimulated all the time with the stories, with uh, entertaining ourselves. Even the teaching needed to be entertaining. And you know, that's what we are conditioned. So it's very hard to make those transitions. So, that's one practice, or practice of life and death, practice of life and death, or the transition between life and death, so-called, you know, pardo. Pardo basically means uh, the transition. Uh, and uh, so, 
uh, in the Tibetan Book of the Dead, I'm, I'm sure many of you have read and know about, is what all the teaching of the Tibetan Book of the Dead, if the Pardo teaching, is about transition. So basically, like in the Burn tradition, in the Mother Tantra, Maju Sanji Jisum, it says, uh, um, like, our life, for example, this life, it's one pardo, it's a, called uh, Chei pardo, so the life pardo, and when you, Chiki pardo, near death pardo, moment you get sickness, which, which makes you, which, which basically kills you, that sickness is until you die, called Chiki pardo, near death intermediate state, and after that you have clear light intermediate state, after that you have intermediate state of existence, so these are different stages of pardo or intermediate state. What is the most important thing? Important is awareness in times of these transitions. So there are each time, if you're aware, you pass. If you're not aware, then you, uh, chances of getting lost or chances of getting deluded, delusion arises. So all the teachings of Pardo has also something to do with the transition. Or in, in the general experiences of our everyday life, I'm, if you look at this moment in your life, I'm sure we are all, we are all in some sense of you know, uh, transition of our life. Sometimes I used to, a student of mine used to always say, how, I, say I, I ask her, how are you doing? And she always says, Oh, you know, I'm in a transition. I'm in a transition. So sometime I thought, oh, okay, well, you, when you're going to be not in a transition, uh, when you're going to feel I'm settled, I am grounded, I am connected, I am in still, I'm not in on move. I thought, I thought of that, but in a way she's very true. We are all in some sense of transition all the time. So let's say like a, a fear, for example, Deep fear. When the fear comes up, when the fear triggers our life, uh, it can be about anything. It could be about losing someone, getting old, death of loved ones. It could be about finance. It could be about health. It could be about some somebody attacking you. It could be about anything. And some maybe some situations in the moments where you have to make a decision. And, and you wanted to make sure that you are really not making a decision, important decision of your life because of your fear. Fear should not be the cause of making a decision. How you may want to make a decision is you wanted to be aware, you wanted to be aware, you wanted to be feel open, you wanted to feel calm, you wanted to feel connected, you, you wanted to be conscious, you wanted to be relaxed, and you wanted to know you have choices, options. Maybe I say one thing, this moment in all of your life, or in all of our life, including myself, maybe we are trying to make some important decision. Maybe you feel rushed, fear, worried. Maybe you feel that you have to make a decision quick and you don't want to make a decision quick. You don't want to make some sudden decision, but you feel you have to do it. So if, if, if you're in that position, if you're in that situation, this moment in your life, just relax for a moment. Take three precious pills. Be still. in your body, be silence, in your speech, be quiet, feel peaceful, be open, and know you have an option. You have an option, I have an option. I don't, I don't have to decide what my emotions and my thoughts and my fear is pushing me to certain direction to make certain decision, which deeply inside me, I would not do that 
but circumstances is pushing you. Well, if you are grounded enough, circumstances does not need to, to push you. So the sense of, I have a choice. I choose. At that junction, I have a choice to go right, to go left, to go straight. So the sense of um, feeling you have a choice, options, I think this is very, very important. So that is actually in, in a simple way, that is, a, that is the awareness of the transition. So the power of awareness in times of transition, the power of awareness, that is the power of awareness. Awareness is always powerful, as I said before, but awareness is specifically powerful in that moment of transition because that will decide which direction you would go. The next thing is like, for example, depression. Today's, today's world, society, there's so much anxiety, there is so much a sense of depression. And in a way, I think it, these depression, these anxiety are caused by uh, lack of connection to ourself, our uh, infinite possibility, our qualities, our strength, our option to choose the right thing. These are uh, awareness. This, this, this is very important. So, uh, so depression, when, when, we, when we lack of this connection to ourself, then the depression comes in. Depression is the absence of connection, basically. Deep sense of obviously is connection to yourself, connection to the re inner refuge, connection to your potentiality, connection to your strength, connection to your joy. And whatever, when they are not there, then you begin to lose the connection and that loss of connection bring more anxiousness and anxieties and hanging out there too long then brings the depression. Hanging out there too long then, then comes to ideas of suicidal thoughts. And so, so I think uh, again, um, the, my point that I'm trying to make here is the awareness, power of awareness in times of transition. Are you in a transition this moment? Okay, so let me ask you a question to everybody. Are you in transition this moment in your life? Just give me an answer. You know? I can see the screen, so let me know what if you wanted to say, yes, I am in a transition. I am in a transition, moment of transition in my life in these things. If you feel comfortable, you can share that. Or you can say, yes, I'm in a moment of transition. Just whatever you wanted to share with me, with the Cyber Sangha community here. There were uh, close to 300 people. We are, we are here and there will be more people you know, sharing our experiences. You're welcome to share. Thank you. Well, in a way, we all are in that moment of transition. It's, it's just a question about sometimes some things are very important ones, uh, very um, challenging ones, very hard ones. Um, but other, otherwise, we are always in moment of transition. So, so the next question to you is, what do you feel? Do you feel rushed to answer and do something? Do you feel anxious? Do you feel nervous? Do you feel angry? Do you feel disappointed? Uh, or do you feel very open? Do you feel free? Do you feel you have a lot of options? A lot of possibilities? So basically, 
it comes down to do you, are you feeling very free and having a lot of choices or you're feeling you are not free and you have very little choices or no choices then what circumstances chooses you that is the, it's boiled down to this question so obviously from the answer from the teaching is when you're feeling that you don't have a choice options that's not true that's absolutely not true that you don't have a choice so first of all let's think about that what i'm feeling that i don't have an option that i feeling i have to rush that i have feeling that i have to dis decide things that i don't want to just just be clear you don't have to do that if it's a pattern of yours you have to watch that carefully because it's not only one time it can come out again it comes again and again in our life so this is uh, a a very important moment this facebook life that we all are here together and think about that i'm only one with one person one of you think about that i'm here to witness that you have a choice so think about this for example many time we feel like a one one good example will be when we feel that we lost someone or we lost something losing some loved one losing a job feeling insecure then you feel you feel you have to make a transition based on the circumstances because you are afraid fear comes in, coming up yes every loss is an opportunity to find something greater than what has been lost a losing a family person i know sometimes people have lost somebody for long time and they are suffering even sometimes situations where 10 years ago 15 years ago 20 years ago lost husband or child or somebody they're still suffering of course in those moments you have to be also be aware that you lost somebody you lost somebody not necessarily somebody is lost somebody is in a transition and somebody is in a different transition somebody is already born already living already well already maybe um, uh, grown up or a transcendent higher place we don't know not necessarily they are not lost when you're traveling when you say i am lost because I don't know the road. You lost the road to the destination, but the road is not lost. Road is always there. Destination is always there. You are lost in relation to the road and destination. Same way, your loved ones are there. They may be happier. They are reborn. Maybe they have a better life. maybe they are no longer suffering with aging sickness death and you need to to be aware of that saying well i feel the lost but something that i'm attached to but you you have not lost the love for that person you have not lost the connection for that person that person stays forever in the same respectful manner loved cared admired 
It's beautiful. Like, like when we lose the teacher. We feel lost. It, it's good to feel that. Some, some kind of feeling sad and feeling lost. But when you pay close attention, it's in a way wonderful experience also. You feel that connection. And then connection will last forever. Well, that connection will never die. So, so let's go back, you know, this idea of, um, just basically what I'm trying to say here, this idea of um, awareness, the power of awareness in times of transition. And the uh, reason why very often we are not able to be aware of in the moment of times of transition, because we are freaking out, we are worried, we are uh, sad, we are angry, and uh, we basically deep inside we're feeling we're losing something. And sometimes we feel we lost something. But what I'm trying to say here is every lost, there is something bigger and better to discover from that loss. Maybe that's really the key point here, what I'm trying to say. There is something bigger, better to find, to discover, to be aware, to appreciate, to exercise, to share something bigger. Like a loss of loved one also. You, re you realize recently a loss of teacher for me uh, who passed away and you, this, this feeling that connection was became more alive than even before. I found something bigger, better, a sense of like eternal connection. With the, with the what I lost, the teacher, and that relationship in me. Many times, even a situation not about the person, but even the situation, we feel the same. Maybe you are so attached to bad job, not well, well paid, stressful. You don't want to lose it. There are people who are get stuck in some of the jobs they should have lost long time ago because in the end, they lose themselves because of those jobs because it's too stressful, too draining, too much unhappiness in that situation but they, they will not lose it, they will not give up because they are afraid to not finding another one. But when they, they, were, they were fired or when they are losing it for some circumstances, when they lose it, you have a new opportunity here. But in order to find that new infinite possibility which, which you are, and in terms of the job, absolutely there is infinite possibility. In terms of the creativity, absolutely there is infinite possibility. In terms of the growth, infinite possibilities there. There is no doubt about it. But you just have to trust yourself to recognize, find better than what you lost, better than what you're losing. It's a trusting yourself. I personally, in my life, whenever I feel that way, that's, what, that's how I try to work with that. I said, I'm losing it, but I know I'm, I, I'm having challenge, ch challenging experience of losing it because I'm afraid. My fear is my condition. My fear is my weakness, not strength. My condition is my blocking my potentiality, not opening up opportunity. And some circumstances, thanks to the God, to the universe, a collective wisdom, somehow I am losing this, which I will never let it go, but everybody, everything in the universe is saying, let it go. And now I'm letting it go, but what I need to do, most important thing, I'm, I am letting it go, I am letting it go, because from every circumstances, that's the message I'm getting, but I need to, to be aware in this moment of transition. 
and this power of that awareness, I will find a better place in my life, more freer place, more restful place, more peaceful place, more opportunity, more opportunity to connect with people, to be kind with people, more opportunity to be creative, productive, useful in the universe. And for sure it's there, it's just a matter of me to be aware and trust the power of that awareness. And that's what the meditation is. In fact, if you look like, like a six yoga of Narupa, or if you name it anything, like a, the 84,000 doors of the Dharma or something like that, five wisdom, 10, ten bumis, five paths, you name it. Each of these are, it's about awareness of transition in a particular stages of development. You, you, you jump to the next level when there is cause conditions and awareness and wisdom are all together. But sometimes we learn this complicated, sophisticated, very theoretical uh, ideas, we learn them, but very basic situation in our life, very simple basic situation in our life, we fail them. When you are, after you have a big lunch, you, you, you have a wisdom saying, evening, I will not eat as much. I will just have a salad and soup, right? In the evening, I will have salad and soup. So this wisdom after big lunch arises. is no longer hungry. It, that's what they say. If you're going to the supermarket, go after them, eat and go, after, go to the supermarket, not hungry stomach, don't go to the supermarket because you will end up buying so many things which you don't need. So, but when evening comes, when you go into the restaurant, the menu shows up big list of things. You almost feel like you want to eat many of them. Of course, you will not eat many of them. It will be a big bill, but you will definitely, your mind is tempting to this, 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 and this. There's a list. Where is the awareness? Awareness is hidden in the empty stomach. Sleeping in the empty stomach. Hungry ghost, hungry ego is coming out. It's trying to fulfill happiness, connection, awareness, love, stability, joy. It, it, you are substitution for all this higher spiritual quality, it's sub, sub, substituted by very raw burger, french fry, dessert, sweet, carbs. This is the reality of every day. So we know that very well, but that doesn't mean we cannot, we cannot try. So somehow, I think we should all try. And uh, sometimes I think about these things myself, and I say I'm trying little things like a menu, and we, we, you, you are aware and you are not aware, you, you see, and you are, you're having these moments of thoughts are going on, then you, you tell yourself, wow, poor you, you're struggling just for the food, you have a bigger awareness to work with, the death and life, pardos, how are you going to do there? If you, can, if you cannot skip a french fry, how are you going to overcome different stages of the pardo? 
If you cannot overcome your burger, how are you going to come overcome different stages of the sleep? There's a, so far bigger challenges that you need to, to face. And these are little things you have to, and these are the places you can, you, you can find out. You do have a choice. Okay, anyway, I think maybe it's a little funny story, but maybe I'll conclude here. The conclusion is every, in these situations, small little situations in your life, you are angry at somebody, you wanted to say something mean to somebody, and you, that's, the intention is already there. The sentences are already uh, appearing. The words are already appearing. Choices of words are already there. And, and, and are you, do you have the awareness of the transition of that time? Awareness. And if awareness is there, you look at, I feel like you're saying that, but I will not say that. I always tell this story one time at the airport, you know, I'm just sitting there and with my computer and I saw a, a lady sitting in front of me with a very nice new computer and uh, she, we did not say hi to each other. I mean, she, was, she just looked at me and I sat there and then she'd look at my computer and, um, and uh, I just working and she was working and at some point she looked at my side and just trying to get attention. And she said, oh, your computer is the, the older version. Basically saying your computer is not good. That's what she's trying to say. No hello, no nothing, no, no conversation, right attacking my computer. And I guess attacking me too. <laughs> and uh, for me, from first first moment, I'm a little bit surprised. I said, oh, what did she say? She just attacked my computer without knowing each other. She just trying to, I don't know why she said that. And of course, first number one thing to do for me is the practice of silence. Because I can see my pain speech, it's arising, spontaneous, effortless. All the word I can say to her. I watch my words, thoughts. And number one thing is not mess up that transition. And one of the way to do it is not to say anything. Because that moment is a transition moment. In US, that's what they say, right? Every time when the police comes at you, they say, you have the right to remain silent. It's the teaching, a police giving you a teaching. If you did not get that from the lamas, the teachers, from the text, the police is teaching you, saying you have the right to remain silent. If you say anything can be used against you. That's true. They're talking about it can be used against you, but in a real life situation, it will use against you. The universe will use against you. Others will use against you. Your, your circumstances will use against you. So number one thing to do for me was remain silent. I, I don't want to say anything. But inside, I'm, I'm saying, don't say anything. But then I'm saying, what about, yes, yes, don't say anything, fine. But if you do say something, what you would say? <laughs> if you, of course, you don't, I don't want to say a very long thing either. If you say one word, what that would be? It's happening in my mind. Then I'm thinking, okay, what that will be? That will be looking at her eye directly. Are you happier? Of course, then I realize that will not make her happier. And so I will not say, say that. So what will be the best answer will be yes. You're right, uh, my is older version, and you seems like I have a really good computer. And she said, yes. And that was our connection, ending of the conversation. So anyway, what I'm trying to say here is, in life, these are very little moment in which 
you are almost forced to do say do something or say something but that moment you need to know you have a choice an option and choosing from that open place choosing from that warm place choosing from that place of kindness is a better option that we have and we all the time we have good options in our life and we need aware trusting awareness to have there and able to make choices right choices in those very important critical moment transitions so so that's all for today i will let's meditate a little bit together short more meditation and in this meditation what i would like all of you to do is you look at in your life you look at in this moment of transition that you are facing whatever transition that is it's important for you and it's important for you to be still silence be aware be connected feel your self your power trust yourself and from that place of self confidence you know you have a lot of options choices so this meditation will be to find that your option but not act from your pain and so uh, i will play this beautiful salve mantra as i always do and just listen collectively together we feel all we are all connecting with each other at this very moment supporting each other and always i think i always do that i feel support from all of you and i intentionally say i am supporting to all the people who are listening to me this moment may my support help them to to connect with that awareness will will help them to make better transition particularly better transition choose right thing in this moment in their life and that's my prayer to all of you
Just bring your full attention to this place, this moment, your place, your moment you're in, in your body. Feel the stillness, more space in that stillness. Feel the silence, more options, more awareness of more options in that silence. Feel spaciousness in your heart, openness in your heart. Feel more warmth, more energy, inspiration, confidence to do the right decision. Okay, so how all are you feeling? How many of you feel you have an option? You have a choice in this moment of transition? And you also know that we are all supporting each other. And just the, this moment of little intention that I bring in my practice, that I'm supporting all of you, and your, this little intention, this moment, that you think that you are supporting everybody, just that intention, it's powerful. And that part we need to do tapping into collective uh, positive intentions. And that is a help that you, will, you are getting. Uh, we are all getting from each other. So I am looking forward to looking at the comments and reading how your practice went and how, uh, how you strong you feel the options and choices and how you are choosing some specific things that you are very happy of that you are able to choose something rather than other thing that, you know, because of realizing, uh, because of uh, uh, having this awareness having this awareness of transition. So I hope that. So um, just before we uh, uh, conclude today, and I don't know exactly remember the date this very moment, uh, but in January we have few webcasts, uh, particularly uh, two important ones. Is One is we have a... Uh, Song of the Wisdoms, poetry reading by uh, a poet and well-known uh, teachers among Tibetan Buddhist traditions. And um, those who are well-known poets have written uh, books and also uh, very engaged with poetry always. And so uh, I'm very much looking forward for that. Uh, we have from all six different traditions because the poetry, the song, it's like another expression of that confidence, uh, expression of that playfulness which arises from that confidence. Uh, this infinite possibility that arises from that, that boundless awareness. So it's a, a beautiful thing to read and feel and inspired by for our practices. And I hope that uh, you share this uh, poetry reading. And just want to make sure that it's not everything is in English, partial English, and partly it will be translated. And, uh, and there will be part, a part of those poems are already exist in English, so they will be posted. And the parts which not will be there, then hopefully sometime in the future, will have the translation so but uh, but I'm uh, planning to put all the these uh, what everybody will read
to put, put uh, as a little short small book form uh, which I this is one of the uh, project which might take some time but uh, same thing I said wisdom Facebook live also which is taking time so I'm trying to see you know find some little bit more help from India some looking working on them basically it's uh, not uh, it takes a lot of a lot of uh, things to put together so but the intentions are there effort is there and someday it will be there so uh, and then the other thing is the the voice of elders indigenous tradition so I think uh, that the indigenous people all around the world there is indigenous people uh, they have uh, so much wisdom they have, they have their voice is not heard enough uh, around the world and so I think uh, using this uh, um, media platform I thought it will be, it's good to bring some people uh, together to share I'll just basically I want to invite them and uh, uh, ask them to share their wisdom and we just wanted to listen and see how much we will learn from their, their these ancient, from this ancient tradition and ancient wisdom so uh, i am very much looking forward and and this i hope uh, more and more able to do that because sometimes it's hard to bring from different indige indigenous group because sometimes not necessarily speaking the language uh, english or spanish uh, but then it's hard to find translators so we're trying to do our best to bring together but we are you know maybe soon we will have a poster and information that we will share uh, I know like us uh, 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 from Peru and from Mexico um, the, and from Africa uh, we will have uh, speakers uh, and, and that will be also in the end of January sometime and uh, I think we will so just please uh, just check on our, my Facebook live, uh, history the Facebook page, and you will find their information. Okay. So thank you, and uh, wish you all wonderful, wonderful, happy holiday with your families, loved ones. Enjoy. Bye.